so here we are in LiveGrade, uh, software from Pondfort. The first thing you have to do is to connect to the actual camera via a wireless connection. So I go to my Wi-Fi settings here and locate that uh, SSID, the, the name of the camera, which is that weird AUV Rec 1G, which is set to there, connect to it. And then uh, the next step would be to uh, type in the password, which we set in the encryption key. So great, once you're done there, no, nothing more to do because your IP is already set correctly locally, so no, nothing to change. Now in, in LiveGrade, we have to set up the Vericam as a device that we can uh, sort of connect to and control. I do that under the uh, Device Manager. Uh, device Manager has several slots. These are basically different uh, devices that you have connected all at once. Uh, in any one of these slots, you can add the Vericam device. In my case, I added a slot called slot C, uh, and I can add the device, which is called uh, Vericam, right? So uh, LiveGrade can talk to various pieces of hardware, uh, IS Mini, HD Link, other tools, but Vericam is just another essentially hardware device that it can, can control. So add device, uh, Vericam, once it's in there, then I go to configure to actually start talking, right? So configure, and then uh, I type, in, the first thing I do in configure is type in the IP address of the camera. We saw that before. The IP address is just uh, by default 192.168.01. So I'll type that in. And then below that, I have to type in my uh, username and password, which I set in the camera earlier. So I added a, the Able Cine one, but guest is also there. You could choose that as well. So you need those credentials to get in there, but you set that all again up in the menus of the camera. Uh, next, and probably the most confusing part here, is the sort of the workflow of the system. Uh, as I said before, I set the camera up to uh, be uh, using the internal V709, right? The three left that's in the camera itself. Uh, as the sort of D log curve, right? Uh, but we could, all, we, could, we could also set it to, to, to be an external or a let from a, an external app from, right, from, right from LiveGrade. Uh, but because I didn't do that, I have, to leave it at the, I have to leave the setting here to default 3D LUT in camera, right? Uh, and go ahead and hit connect. If, if it doesn't line up, it won't connect. So hopefully we did it right, and it did. It connected. All right, so because I, um, because I left the internal uh, 3D LUT on, all LiveGrade is really doing here is controlling the CDL parameters, right? So here's my feed from the camera, which you know has a, a basic LUT on it, believe it or not. Uh, and and I can adjust things like saturation. There it gets more saturated. Uh, my you know my lift, my gamma, my gain, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, I mean, you have a tangent panel here, but of course you can just control things uh, on this. And there's a little bit of a delay, but uh, it's, it's pretty effective at getting a quick, quick, nice grade. And again, just changing the CDL parameters uh, on this tool. Now, notice down here, because I'm only doing that, 3D LUT is locked, right? So, OK, I can't change that. Well, let's say you wanted to not use the V709 built-in one. Well, uh, we have to go back to the camera and change it, and then also reconnect here so that we can load in LUT. So let's go back to the camera really quick. Uh, we'll change that setting, and then come back to here. All right, we're back at the camera now, and I want to change the uh, settings here so that the camera, instead of using its own internal V709, instead uses the uh, file loaded in from LiveGrade. So how I do that is I hit the button here and then change the 3D like select from, again, the internal V709 to be a uh, loaded file, which you see there. Right? So uh, th th LiveGrade will send the file over, and whatever it, lo it loads in, we're, we're, we're good. So exit out of there, and now let's go back over to LiveGrade to see what we can set up. OK, so now we've uh, changed the 3D LUT to loaded file on the camera. And what we're going to do is change the parameter here so that we can load the LUT directly over. To do that, we go to the Device Manager here, uh, configure the Vericam device again, uh, and go ahead and disconnect from the system, and then change it from default 3D LUT to use 3D LUT from LiveGrade, right? The loaded file. Uh, loaded file is in, in uh, parentheses there, just like the V709 is, right? So we do that. Uh, and then go ahead and reconnect like that, and we're good again. Again, I liked it. If it wasn't right, it wouldn't connect. Close it out. And now we basically have the same thing, but down here, I can actually go ahead and load in a 3D LUT. So just to see if that's working, we'll go ahead and uh, just uh, turn it off the 3D LUT, give it a second, and you'll see the camera kicks in. And there's the, there's the camera, with, there's the system without you know, a LUT applied at all. And I can load in a LUT either manually here, hit the load 3D LUT button, right? which is down there, or I can choose again either the Panasonic one, which is the one that's in the camera already, 
and give it a second. Blah, blah, blah. Right there it goes. Or I can choose. I could like load in a airy one if I wanted to. You know, which will look slightly different. You know, when it loads up. So it's a slightly different change there. It is. You know, so I can load whatever 3D LUT I want. Probably you would take the Varicam one and modify it or make your own. You know, sure, whatever you want to do, you can load it in. Do some very unique looks this way. But then again, I can still adjust the CDL parameters, lift gamma gain, saturation on top of that. So lots of options there. This is a great, a great option for a lot of people out there. But if you don't want to use 3D LUTs uh, necessarily in your workflow, you really just want to be CDL, then you probably don't need this. Uh, again, it's up to you how you want to handle it. The great thing about all of this stuff is, though, by the way, that the files that you make here, here on this tool, are loaded into the camera wirelessly, and they live uh, right in the recording, right? So they're metadata of the recording. So every time you do a recording on the camera, in the folder structure, you get your CDL and your uh, 3D LUT, your, they call it VLT file, or right? the Varicam look file. Uh, that's all living right in the, in, in the in recording, so you take those files later and apply them in post. So uh, actually doing that's a whole other blog, but the idea here is uh, the tool talks over wirelessly or wired and makes adjustments and we're sort of good to go uh, through the post process. So a very great uh, option here, uh, LiveGrade and the Varicam working together. I'm really glad that they uh, made this all happen. So I uh, hope that helps. Uh, that's it for now, and we'll see you next time.